y'all. It's Victoria. Welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new, hello, welcome. We're super geeked. We celebrate all the things that we get super geeked about. One of the things I get super geeked about is reselling. I'm a full-time fashion reseller. I sell women's clothing and accessories on websites like Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Mercari. And today I'm going to talk about Longchamp. Yes, you know them. You've probably gotten one if you've ever ordered a thread up DIY designer box. It's a big joke in the reselling community that if you get a DIY designer box, you're going to get a long shot bag. And I've ended up with quite a few that I had no idea what to do with because they had these pesky holes that develop in the corners of the nylon bags. So I found a way to get them repaired for free. Stay tuned and I'll explain how. If this is the first video that you're watching on our YouTube channel and you're not really sure what I'm talking about, basically ThreadUp is the largest online consignment store and they have these things called rescue boxes, which are usually damaged items or items that they could not sell on their website. So a lot of resellers will go and purchase these rescue boxes and then they will personally try to sell these items for a profit. So I've gotten several long shot bags in DIY designer boxes that I got from ThreadUp. But I also had a long shot bag that was given to me by a friend and I had another long shot bag that I had picked up myself. So I had four long shot bags all with the same problem sitting in a pile and I had no idea what to do with them. I mean, I didn't want to keep them because they were damaged. I didn't want to sell them because they were damaged. I didn't know what to do. Several of you from the reselling community reached out and left a comment on my YouTube video for my DIY designer hauls saying that Longchamp repairs their bags. I thought, what an interesting concept. So I Googled Longchamp and I found that they did in fact have an email to reach out about repairs. So I sent an email explaining that I had four Longchamp bags and all of the Longchamp dip bags had the same issue. And that is the nylon in the four corners of the long shot bag tend to wear out so that they become frayed and basically become little holes. So if you don't know what long shop is, long shop is a French luxury brand. The company started in 1948 as a tobacco company, actually. And eventually during World War II went into using leather to wrap things like pipes during the war effort. And the manufacturers of long shop realized that there was a lot of things that you could do with leather and they started to develop leather goods and they made passport covers and travel bags and things like that. But in the 1970s, they launched their first line of women's handbags. And in 1971, they were true visionaries when they created the first leather and nylon handbag. So what was very unique about these handbags is that they were made of nylon and no one made handbags made of nylon in the 70s. So they were the very first company to do that. They also worked on coming up with innovative ways to make foldable bags that would be great for travel so that you could use them as tote bags, but then you could fold them up. So we're talking about luxury goods, but luxury travel goods. And then in 1993, they launched their famous La Pliage handbag. So that is the nylon with a leather strap that goes over with the Longchamp logo, leather hand handle, and the bag folds up. So it's a travel bag, but it's their most popular bag now. And they have different lines. They have different sizes. So they have the small La Pliage bags, and then they have medium and large. They even have backpacks. So they have a whole line of them. That's their most popular bags. That's probably the bags you've seen. And I'll pop up a picture of it so that you can see. So that's the style of bag that I had. I had um, the La Pliage and I reached out to Longchamp and let them know that I had four of their handbags that all had the same problem with the nylon. And I asked them, how would I go about paying for or getting them repaired? 
I don't like to sell a lot of damaged items just to avoid returns and things like that. So I would prefer, I mean, I would have sold it damaged because it's still a luxury brand and people will still buy it. But there's also a lot of long shot bags out there, especially in the reselling community, because everybody gets one in their DIY designer box. So instead, I decided to see what, what Longchamp said. And to my surprise, I got an email back. They told me that the way the process works is they would send me a form for each of the bags. So the Longchamp representative I spoke with told me to just fill out each form. So there was an individual form with an individual number attached to that form, similar to an invoice. So it had an actual invoice number that they would attach to each of the bags and I would fill out a description of the bag, put in the serial number and the model number and description of what the issue was. Then I would pay the postage to mail it to Longchamp to the repair facility. Now he did tell me that if I had a Longchamp store near me, I could take the bags into the store and they would repair them for free at the store. However, I don't have a long shop store close to me in South Mississippi. And so the only recourse I had was to mail it to long shop. So I did that. I packaged them up. I filled out each form for each bag and I mailed it to long shop. The form was very easy to fill out and self-explanatory. And I just bought my shipping label off pirate ship and sent it to the address they requested. And then it took about three months for them to do the repairs of the bags. So start to finish, it took about three months, which I was fine with, you know, and the repairs are free of charge and they do pay to ship it back to you. So the only money that I was out on the repair of these bags was the shipping cost to ship it to them, which I think was like $7. Totally worth it, right? So here is my UPS box that came and my long shot bags are in here. I have only popped it open, you guys, because I didn't know what was in here. And I saw that it was my long shot bag. So I'm actually going to unbox it with you. I have not even looked at the repairs yet. So let's just go ahead and pull them out. Okay. So I'm going to cover up my name and phone number, but here's the form and they put the form inside of a plastic bag with the long shot bag. So this first long shot bag, okay. And what's really funny is I couldn't even read some of the serial number on some of these bags that it had just worn down. And let me fold this down so you can't see, but if you can see, they actually wrote in, see, I had question marks because I couldn't see the numbers they actually wrote in the actual identifying number on um, this bag. So that's good. This is a little thank you card. How nice. I didn't do anything. You did it. So thank you. So here is my first bag. Wow. Okay. This is very interesting. Okay. So I was told that the only thing that they repair is the corners and the corners are what become split and start to fray and cause these little holes. Okay. So this bag, let me show you what the whole bag looks like. So this is the red. This is like a, almost like a pinkish red, but this is, I think this is the large bag. So all long shop bags, you should be able to see right here where it says long shop. And then, they will all have these long shop hardware. And then if you open the bag, I'm going to try to let you see this, but there's a, here's a plastic tag and this actually has those two numbers on it. It has the model number and the serial number. But if you'll see on this bag, there was also a tiny little scrape right here that was not on the corner. Now that's still there. So they don't actually repair those. They only repair the corners. But you guys, this bag looks 100% better. <laughs> so that one little nick on the bottom of the bag is not going to affect what I decide to do with this bag if I decide to sell it or whatever. It's in so much better shape now that those corners have been repaired. I'm so excited. So far, so good. Okay, this is the next one and it looks like it has two in here. 
so I don't know if it's because they're the same model or what, because they're definitely two different colors, but I'll take them out and show you both of them. Okay, this is how the long shot bags hold, fold up, just so you know. Again, it has the hardware with the long shop logo and the long shop imprintation. And then also back here, it says long shop. And this one, you can see the model on it. So these are the small bags. This one looks so much better. So again, there's a little bit of rippling on the bottom. These bags are washable because they're nylon, but you can see the corners have been repaired. So that's really cool. So that's that one. And then this one was probably in the worst shape. There was a coating on the leather here and you can see that it's sort of like flaked off in here. They did clean this, but the coating on the leather is gone. So this is probably the one that's in the worst shape. I probably will not sell this one. I'll just keep it. This, I remember this one came in my first DIY designer box, but now I can use it. But again, corners are perfect. And this one's a little dirty on the bottom. Just a little bit of residue and stuff. But again, I'll probably just use this for my own needs. And again, thank you. Thank you. So the red one was a large bag. You saw that one. The two I just opened just now were the small bags. And then this one is a medium sized bag. And this one was actually the one that was gifted to me by a friend. And it's a pretty navy blue. There's the long shop. And there's the hardware. And then I'm gonna unfold it. This is a very pretty color. Hers was in great condition, this one that she gave me, but again, her corners were still messed up. So I went ahead and sent it in. And this one is gonna be great to sell. It's in wonderful condition and is a beautiful color. I love this blue. Something else really cool that I noticed on the bottom of these is that it says the manufacture date. So now I know if I do decide to resell when each of these bags was manufactured. So overall, I have to say I'm really happy about my process with this. Contacting Longchamp was super easy. Filling out the forms was super easy. I paid postage to send it to them, but they repaired the bags, all four of them for free. They look a world of different and they even paid to ship it back to me and sent me thank you cards. <laughs> so I'm really happy. And I don't know if this is an option that you want to try and use for your Longchamp bags, but I thought it was very interesting that someone shared that with me. And so I just wanted to share with you that I had tried out the process and I'm really happy about it. I definitely would go through Longchamp again for repairs of their bags. They're a very high quality luxury brand and it's worth repairing these bags because they're very durable and they're great for travel because as you can see, they fold right up. You can just throw them in a larger tote or in your suitcase and yeah, I'm like super happy. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of my experience using the Longchamp Repair. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing to our channel. We would love to have you part of the Super Geek family. We have tons of content, not just reselling, but if you're into reselling, we have a playlist down below just for that. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye.